Hi, I'm Marion Landry, Technical Marketing Manager for Autodesk. In this Tips and Tricks, I will show you how to save your showcase materials and share your material library with other coworkers across the network. Okay, so I have a project here in Showcase with a material library open. Now, most of the time when your material library is open, it lists every single material that you have tried in your scene, including the used material and the unused material. The only way that you can see which material are in use is by looking at the little check box here that shows you the used material. Now, I suggest to perhaps look at only the assigned material in your scene. Now, keep in mind that this project do have material as alternative and the assigned material will show the material per alternative. So as you can see, as I'm navigating through my material alternative, the materials are changing. Now to help manage this list, I suggest you delete the unused material and keep only the used material in your scene, which will include every material that you have in each of the material alternatives. By doing this, you make sure that you're aware of which material are in this scene and it helps you manage the material in your scene visually and have a direct feedback of what's happening in your scene. Now, next, I'm going to include unused material. So two Autodesk unused material in scene list, just so we get to see what happened when we save these material as part of the library. Now I'm going to rename them so I can identify them clearly. So ADSK stone one and ADSK stone two. Now they are unused, but I will still be able to save them in my library. Now the next step will be to save this library. So if you go to the material in the scene manage menu, you'll see that I have a button that says save to library. Now I can save to my material or I can create a new library. Now by default, you have a section here called my material with a subcategory, my category. This is a great location to save your material locally if you want to reuse them from scene to scene. But if you want to exchange your new material library with coworker or on the network, I highly suggest that you create a new library altogether. So I'm going to choose this option, create new library. So by default, it's pointing to my document folder and I'm fine with that for now. I'm going to click OK and I'm going to create a new category. Now I'm going to name it the name of my project, so rear differential material library. So I remember that all the material in this material library are related to this project itself. So you see, I have a new library that is pointing to my document folder, which is subcategory called rear differential material library, which includes all the material that I have saved. Now, if I have a look at this folder itself under my documents, you'll see that I have a .xml file as well as a folder which contains my material library. Now, I'm going to copy these two documents and copy them on my network. First, I'm going to create a new folder. And the reason why I'm creating a new folder is that when my coworker are loading the new library, it is easy for Showcase to find these two needed elements. So in this new folder called Showcase Material Library 2013, I'm going to paste my .xml file and my folder containing the material library. Now, before I go to a different computer and load the library, I want to show you something else. You'll notice that I can always save any of the material one by one. And once I have the new library, I can choose to save it in the new library, or I can create a new library altogether or save it locally under my material, my category. If I do that, you see that I have my new material here. Now, if I load a different scene still on the same computer, you will notice that I still have access to the newly created library as well as the uh, material that I have added under my category. Now, you can always choose to remove the library locally, but by doing so, it won't delete the created folder and you can reload the library at any time. Now, keep in mind that you can keep adding materials to my category at or to the newly created library at any time. And this will be loaded automatically on your local machine. Now, if you're adding a new materials to your newly created library, you might want to resave it on the network to make sure that your coworker will have access to these new materials. 
Now I am on a completely different computer on the network and I'm going to show you how you can load this material library that you just saved. Now you can tell I'm on a different computer because there's absolutely no material save under my category, which I had in the previous computer. So I'm going to go to manage add library and I'm going to point to the network drive where I have saved this uh, folder that I have called showcase material library, which contained the .xml file as well as the companion file with all the materials in it. So it loaded the library that points to my network drive with the rear diff material library subcategory, which contains all my material that I had previously saved from my other computer. Now you notice but that my ADSK material do have a little bit of a weird thumbnails, but the material will be working, working fine. And from here, I can start using these new material from my saved library into a totally different computer on the network and apply them into my project.